everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, if this is your first time joining me, my name is Jason. If this isn't your first time joining me, welcome back. Um, this is going to be quite the different video for me because this is going to be my first ever cooking video, as you can see by my setting here. So um, I have to admit, I'm very, very nervous about this video. Um, yes, I have cooked before, that's not the issue. Um, I am planning to make crock pot, crock pot bread. I have never made bread dough before, let alone cooked it in a crock pot. So um, it's going to be interesting. So I, this video is going to be kind of like pieced together because obviously you're going to have to prepare the dough and then put it in the crock pot, crock pot and come back and check. Anyway, so um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to head and go ahead and get the dough started. Um, I'm going to be moving the camera around a little bit, so I apologize for that, but, um, let's go ahead and, um, I will upload the recipe that I'm using, um, into the video to the description below. Um, this is for pull apart rosemary bread. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and just, uh, get started with the dough. <laughs> um, Behind me here, you can see I'm going to be using my stand mix mixer, which I rarely ever use. Um, I think we used it like once to make some baked goods at the um, Christmas time, like almost right after we got it. So um, my question is, <laughs> I don't know what attachment to use. Um, I'm assuming that this is what I'm going to use for the bread dough, because this looks like it would be a dough mixer, um, but we also have the hook here, um, which I've also seen used to make dough. So I'm really not sure. I'm going to try this one first. Um, I don't think that this would be the right attachment. Um, so I'm not going to use that, but uh, let's go ahead and put this in here. And let's just cross our fingers and hope that everything goes okay. So let's go ahead and move. All right, so <laughs> I apologize if the light is a little weird. I'm not using my ring light. So um, but first thing I need to do is I need to add the flour. Um, now the recipe calls for, I believe, three and a quarter to three and three quarters cup all-purpose flour. But to start off, it says use two cups flour. So I'm going to go, go ahead and, oops. Sorry, I'm hearing noises in my kitchen, which isn't uh, unusual. <laughs> All right, so I'm usually not so precise when I do my recipes, but because I'm baking for the pretty much the first time. Um, I'm going to try to be as precise as I can. So let's go ahead and enter. Whoops. And of course I made a mess already. There's one cup. And two cups. So we've got our two cups flour to start with, and let's see what we need to do next. I know we're going to add the uh, two cups flour, sugar, dry yeast, salt, and rosemary in a large mixer bowl. Okay, so I went ahead and measured out two cups sugar or two cups, no, two tablespoons sugar, two tablespoons. <laughs> so we've got the two tablespoons sugar. And this is gonna drive me nuts. I got some. All right. And I never plugged this in, so let's go ahead and reach behind here and give this Okay. Put the flour 
flower back over here. Rosemary. Now, I did buy fresh rosemary, but I think I'm just going to use the dried rosemary um, because it says use two teaspoons. So I think it's going to be easier just to use the dried. Um, and where are my... So, let's see. So for the bread, it's one teaspoon and there will be like a, like a glaze, olive oil, I don't know if glaze is the right word, but the other rose, teaspoon of rosemary is gonna be used on that. So there's one teaspoon rosemary. And what was it, salt, what is, one teaspoon salt. All right. And got a packet of um, yeast. And where did I put my scissors? Here's the scissors. Um, I have never worked with yeast before because, like I said, I have never made bread. All right, there's one packet of yeast. And what else was it? Um, dry yeast, salt, rosemary, flour, sugar. Okay, so that's all, just all the dry ingredients. So um, I'm going to and it says to mix on combine. Let's see, stir until blended, set aside. So I'm just going to put this on low because this is just to stir. So it's going to get a little noisy for a second. Sorry. <laughs> And I think what I'm going to do, so I don't get a mouthful of flour. <laughs> I don't know if you can see all that coming up. So <laughs> this is, this is going to be interesting because I'm not a baker. Um, my hubby is actually more of the baker than I am. Um, but this isn't his project, this is mine. So <laughs> we're gonna see how this turns out. All right, so I've got that started. Now it says to combine the wet ingredients. So combine one cup water and a quarter cup of oil in a microwave safe bowl. So let's open this up here and all right, just all these Tupperware cups here. Okay. So one cup of water. And it's a quarter cup oil. So, now I don't know, actually, that had some powder, or powder, that had some flour in it. So I'm going to dump that out because I don't, even though it's going to go into the flour mixture, like I said, I want to be as precise as I can, so. Okay, there is the water and quarter cup um, olive oil. Quarter cup oil. 
If I don't talk the whole time, I apologize. It's only because I'm nervous <laughs> for making this. I want it to turn out well. Um, all right, so I'm going to pop this in the microwave. And we'll see. Uh, it does not say how long. Uh, oh, it says 15 second increments. So <laughs> it does say how long. Let's try 10 there. And you're just supposed to get it as warm as possible. It doesn't need to be hot to the touch. Let's try. Have any of you ever made uh, homemade bread before? Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think of making homemade bread. And have you tried it in a crock pot? This is starting to, you know what, I think this is okay. I'm going to just guess if this is the right temperature. So, see, combine one cut, microwave on high, okay, um, till it's warm but not hot to the touch. Add the water oil mixture to flour mixture with egg, beat two minutes at medium speed. All right, I need to get an egg out. this egg in here real quick. I don't know if I'm supposed to mix the egg or not or just put it in this way. Um, it doesn't say, just says add the egg, so <laughs> we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let's see. Please don't squirt all over me. going to be a video to see how easy or not easy it is for somebody who doesn't bake to make this. Let's see uh, how long am I supposed to do? Okay, and so scrape the bowl occasionally. So I'm going to stop it for a second. It looks like it's making <laughs> what resembles a dough. So, so far, so good, I think. Um, the sides. Because of course all the flour got on the sides. Now I like to watch some, um, I don't want to say chefs. I don't know if they're chefs. I don't know how they classify themselves. But uh, one of the people I do watch is Emmy. Um, I love some of the videos that she makes. Um, she finds some interesting recipes. And then I also like to watch June um, from Delish, I believe. She usually is cooking from her uh, New York apartment as well. Um, and then she has her partner taste test and rate things. So um, let's go ahead and, all right, it's looking Looking doughish. Let's see. Let's put it back in. 
Let's see. Yeah. Okay, so beat two minutes medium speed, add one cup flour, beat two minutes at high speed. So I gotta add another cup flour. So I need to dry this. I think once I get it into the crock pot, um, I'll be able to relax a little bit more. This is gonna be obviously the stressful part for me. So let's go ahead and add another cup of flour. Come on. So adding another cup of flour. And what did I do again? Of course, I got the flour all over because why wouldn't I? <laughs> Let's see here. Close this flower thing up and close it back up and okay so now I'm going to add one cup flour beat two minutes at high speed okay so it says for about two minutes. well for my um, OCD. Oops, I don't mean to do that. Yeah, it's, ooh, it's very sticky. I guess this definitely is looking like a dough. So that's good. <laughs> I got that part right so far. Um, yep. It's looking like a very sticky dough to me, so. <laughs> it doesn't look like there's a lot to scrape off the sides, so. All right, well, I think maybe it's time to move on to the next step, which I believe is just uh, 10 minutes of proving. So let me double check. But I think that that's what we're going to do next. Um, and I think they'd recommend just sticking it in the oven without the oven on. Um, so stir in, let's see. Stir in just enough remaining flour so that the dough will form into a ball. Um, Oh wait, this, so we don't prove it yet. 
I thought there was 10 minutes of proving. Oh. Okay, so we need it first. Stir in just enough remaining flour so that the dough will form into a ball. Knead on lightly floured surface until surface until smooth and elastic and springs back. About six to eight minutes. All right, well, so we got to do the kneading first before we do the proving. This will be interesting. And let's uh, move this up here. All right. I have a surface here, uh, which you can't see because it's behind the um, mixer, but it's just a silicone mat. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of flour down because it was a very sticky dough. And I don't know how much to put down, so we'll see. All right, let's try that. I'm going to leave the flour open on the side here just in case I need to get a little bit more. Um, I think I can take the, I think this is pretty much the end of the mixer stage. So let's uh, take this off. Okay. The cleanup is not gonna be fun, that's for sure. How do I, there we go. All right, so this is what it looks like inside. ahead and I should have put flour on my hand there let's see <laughs> now this does not look like a lot of dough so hopefully the proving will expand it a lot because I'm supposed to cut it into 32 sections um, for the pull apart bread. So we'll see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I was going to reuse this, but I don't think I will. Um, I may ask for the hubby's help for a second. Paul, are you uh, free for just a second? I just need another bowl to put this in because I'm not going to put it back in that one. So if you can get another bowl for me another to, bowl. yeah, that this is going to go okay. in to prove. Yeah. Okay. 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 I've never kneaded dough before, so this is... Kind of fun though. <laughs> yeah. Where did you want to put it? Uh, I can just put it in the sink there because I'm going to transfer it right to the. Does this look like a dough to you? <laughs> yeah, it looks like a dough. I don't know, like how, like what it's supposed to look like after kneading it, and I, I don't know if the point of kneading it is to get. To get it to where it. Uh, springs back, right? Yeah. I need to put more. But it, it already feels. Actually. Yeah, that's right. Well, it covers the what I'm doing, but that's oh. right. Well, here. There. They, don't, they know what kneading there. looks like, so I don't think they need to necessarily see me. I don't know. How long was I supposed to do it? Uh, About six minutes. Isn't that what I heard? Six Hi, minutes. everybody. <laughs> if you haven't seen him before, this is the hubby, Paul. So <laughs> he's going to be my taster later on. Mm. So. <laughs> All right. Um, Anything else? I th no, I think I'm okay for yeah. now. Thank you. I just had my hands were all 
Right. So, I think when I edit the video, I'm gonna edit some of this out because you don't need to see me sitting here for six to eight minutes kneading the dough. Um, but I do feel it getting, I don't know if I'm using too much flour because it's getting kind of sticky. And so I, when it gets too sticky, I've been adding a little bit more. I am one of those people that when it comes to baking, I love a boxed um, mix that you just basically put in the blender and everything's done. You just need to mix it. So this is a first for me. I have never made fresh dough of any kind, whether it's bread or pasta or cookie dough or cake any of that so but it's a good feeling it's, it's that so far it's what I've seen people do on YouTube or TV and it's resembling the right I mean It looks good. Again, I don't know how I'm gonna get 32 pieces out of this, but. When I, I'm gonna to have to watch. <laughs> this is making me think of one of my absolute favorite TV shows of all times. Um, I've talked about it in some of my other videos, but um, I am a huge I Love Lucy fan. And this is making me think of the episode that her and Ethel try to make the homemade bread. I'm hoping mine won't be as disastrous as hers was, but uh, It's interesting to think that this is simply just flour, sugar, salt, water, oil, and egg. And it turns into this consistency. So. It's almost, it's, so it's still, I guess it needs a little bit more because when I press in on it, it doesn't really bounce back too well yet. So, but tell me, how am I going to get 32 pieces from that? They're going to have to be like little inch size pieces. definitely gets sticky really quickly, but I, I'm hesitant to keep adding more flour because I don't want to add too much flour. It bounces. If I don't press hard, it bounces back quicker. So let's see, let's do a little bit more. Well, I mean, it's able to form a ball, so it just doesn't, it's not bouncing back, which is my concern. Um, I'm 
Now, I don't know if you can over knead bread dough. So it is getting a lot heavier <laughs> the more I knead it, which I guess is a good thing. I don't know. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is just sprinkle a little bit of this in the bowl so that it doesn't stick. I'm gonna just put it in all right and then I need to cover it with a dish towel so that's what I brought this out for I'm gonna cover that up and I'm gonna put it in the oven without the oven on. All right. And I think this point they want me to start making the um, the oil unless I I hope I didn't skip over that part um, let's see here uh, okay yeah so now I'll make flavored oil by combining a third cup olive oil garlic powder and rosemary in a shallow bowl and then once the dough has proved, I'm gonna cut it into 32 pieces. So I am gonna let that prove in there for about 10 minutes. And um, I think I'm gonna be done with this, I hope. For now, actually no, I'll probably need it when I cut the dough. Um, but I've got an absolute mess in the sink now. <laughs> And I'm gonna start with uh, the oil mixture, which I don't know if it's too early. Maybe I should wait a little bit because it doesn't sound like it's gonna be that much to mix. So maybe I'll stop the video for now. I'll come back uh, when the to check the dough to see if it's risen any, um, and I'll make the oil then. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Hello, everybody. I'm. Back, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make the dip, the oil dip for the dough. Um, Give me enough time just to do a little bit of dishes. This is what I do not enjoy about baking is the mess that it leaves behind for you. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and the mix is very easy. It's just olive oil, garlic powder, um, I think that's, and then the rosemary. Hold on, let me. Third cup olive oil, garlic powder, and rosemary, yeah. So, we're gonna have one and a half teaspoons of the garlic powder. And I'm gonna have to, oh good, that whole thing came off. Uh, where did my teaspoon thing go? Oh. Do I have a half a teaspoon measuring? There's a quarter and yeah. All right, so one and a half teaspoons garlic. Lots of garlic, but I love me some garlic, so. There's one. And how much rosemary? We're gonna have just one teaspoon rosemary. So my rosemary is back over here. 
one teaspoon rosemary. And a third cup of olive oil. And then I'm going to give that a little mix. Where's my whisk? Okay, so. And this is just going to be the dip that we dipped each piece of dough in before putting it in the crock pot. Now the dough has been in a little bit longer than 10 minutes. Um, so I'm going to check that in a minute, but I don't know what it's supposed to look like. So I don't know how, if it's supposed to have gotten a lot bigger. It smells really good. Okay. So that's what we end up with. And... there. Now with the crock pot, all I needed to do is, um, I've got it right over here and I just lined it with, um, wax paper. It's got, uh, two sheets, one, you know, going one way and one going the other. So that at the end, when you go to pull out the bread, you just pull out the wax paper. So hopefully <laughs> that's what they recommend in the recipe. So hopefully that works. Um, but I haven't turned it on yet because they say to put everything in there and then they say turn it on. So let's go ahead and pull out, let's go ahead and pull out the, the dough. Okay. So this is what the dough looks like now. It looks like it may have gotten a little bit bigger. Um, Again, I don't know if I'm going to get 32 pieces. I may just try to get as many pieces as possible. There's only two of us in the house, so... Um, or I just cut them into smaller pieces. So, um, let's see. It's bouncing back pretty well. So, I don't know if I need to flour the board again. Um, anyway. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> Um, I'm going to just dump it out here and then try to Okay. Let's um see how this goes. Okay, I'm just going to kind of kind of cut it in half and then I'm going to come on that one doesn't want to okay so I've kind of cut it in half this way um, I don't know I think that these are going to make really big pieces of uh, the pull apart bread. So maybe I'll try to cut each of these in half again and, and then just cut. I don't know how much they're going to expand in the um, crock pot so that one doesn't look very even obviously um, the pieces are not going to look completely um, equal so this would not uh, fly on the 
British Bake Off <laughs> show, but uh, which I do love to watch. All right. So I've got like four. It's getting really sticky again the more that I handle it. So I'm going to try to be as quick with this as possible and see if I can get, if I can get like eight cuts out of each one, that should be 32, right? Do my math for me, <laughs> says the teacher to, <laughs> all right. Um, let's see here. I'm going to do one, two, three. Nope, it's not going to get eight. Well, that's okay. I got six out of that one. So we're not going to get 32, but that's okay. I'm sure that there's a way to figure it out if I were to measure everything carefully, but we're not doing that. And let's just start with these. So I've got these little pieces here. I'm just gonna try to make them a little bit round-ish. Dip it in the oil and pop it in the And same thing with this. Dip it. I don't think they need to be perfectly round because they're gonna do what they want to do when they cook anyway. So got. done here. I'm really getting hungry. <laughs> this smells good already and it hasn't even started baking. I'm one of those that I love like just cloves of garlic that I could eat like raw or cooked. And last piece. All right. And so just with the rest of the oil mixture, just says dump right in. it's just setting the crock pot. Um, they do suggest putting three layers of paper towels over the top under the lid so that it will help with the condensation. Um, but I did see another video where it actually said just use a paper towel or a dish. And since there's no like flame or fire, I am going to try this. and just cover it that way. 
and then put the lid on top, which see if you can see what I did there. Okay, so, and then I'm just gonna turn it on high. Um, stirring just enough for me. Need on there, okay. We did that, we did that. Turn slow cooker to high. Um, cook on high for one and a half to two and a half hours depending on your slow cooker. So high it is, it is waiting time now. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video and we'll come back and check it in a little bit. All right, bye. Hello everybody, it's me again. So this has been in for, I wanna say like maybe an hour and 40 minutes, hour and 45 minutes. And I think, I think it's ready to take out and I'm gonna do one more optional step, which is put it in the broiler for like one or two minutes just to brown the top. So let's go ahead and we're going to test the temperature to see if it's at least 200 degrees, which is what they say it needs to be to be done. So you can see how <laughs> much condensation there was. And okay, I don't know how much of this you can see. <laughs> it looks all I don't know. I I did come in and check the temperature once before, and I think poking the hole in it deflated it a little bit, so but we'll see. So Let's test temperature and see if it's it. Uh, you hear a voice in the background, it's my hubby streaming. All right, it's getting there, 190, yep. So 200. All right, so, okay, off you go. So now the next step is to take this out and put it into onto a cookie sheet. So I'm gonna turn this off and I've got a cookie sheet over here. Now you're supposed to be able to just lift it up says to take the wax paper off, so that's what I'm trying to do. Um, and, um, I wonder, you know what, let me get a spatula. And we will lift it off of the wax paper. It's already got nice and brown. I think it may have actually been in a little too long, but we will see. Okay, so This is what it ends up looking like. A piece already came off. Um, I may leave this piece out and see what it tastes like um, before I put it into the broiler. I'm gonna pop it in the broiler over here. So it's only supposed to take one to two minutes in the broiler. And um, 
hopefully we'll have bread that tastes really good. It's definitely not as oily as it was when I put it in. So, are you off stream, honey? I am. Do you want to come and take a bite on camera? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So that they don't think I'm just saying it's good because I. <laughs> No, you're fine. Oh, you know how hard it is to get up off our couch. <laughs> yes. So it's in the broiler right now, but this is a piece that popped out. Oh. But. Cool. Yeah. So you can take a bite and then I'll take a bite. <laughs> so my, my official taster. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Oh, the top looks yummy. Let's see. Mmm. Nice and crisp. Hmm. You taste the rosemary? Yeah, well, yeah. it's on the top there. Yeah. And that's where you put the cheese too, right? Or is it? Well, I sprinkled the cheese on the okay. top. That's, thank you for reminding me. I forgot to put the grated Parmesan cheese on. So I kind of <laughs> snuck in off camera and did that really late. There you go. But it's but. still good. I, I bet with that dip, you would taste it better. Mm. I got the rosemary and it, it lingers. It's got a nice crisp top there. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it a lot. There's nothing like fresh bread, guys. It's even uh, even mm. out of a <laughs> crock pot. It, He's being nice. No, I'm not... I like it. You should uh, make sure it doesn't burn though. Your broiler. I think it needs more flavor. I think it needs like more garlic, or more rosemary, um, or more salt. <laughs> For me, it just tastes doughy but let me check the broiler real quick so it doesn't burn and give it like another minute longer but um i think what i might do is for this i might make like an extra olive oil dipping sauce like paul suggested um because for me personally it is a little bit the doughy chewy side um and there's not a ton of flavor in it for me um but for my first attempt at bread it's not bad at all i think as an alternative to a bread maker or cooking it in the oven i think cooking it in a crock pot works um so and it took only at once getting the dough done and getting it into the crock pot it took like maybe an hour and 40 minutes, hour and 45 minutes for my particular crock pot. So it's supposed to take anywhere from an hour and a half to two and a half hours, depending on your crock pot. So I don't know. I'm not disappointed. I would do it again. Um, but like I said, I would add more flavor. Like maybe I would actually um, really like mince up some garlic cloves and put some garlic cloves in the dough. So it's got more garlicky, garlicky flavor and maybe a little more salt. Um, Cause that's the only thing that's really missing for me is it's just, there's not a lot of flavor in it, but uh, I don't, I mean, you can see it looks, looks like bread. It got nice and dark on the sides. So it's, and if I open it, It seems done, so. If you get the crispy bits, you get a little bit of the rosemary. But like I said, I would still add more flavor to that. So, like I said, I will put the uh, link to the recipe um, in the description in this video. But, um. For me personally, I would add a little more flavor. I'd add a little more salt or I'd add some more garlic um, or whatever seasoning you want to put in it. Just, I would put a little bit more in because it, it, that's lacking for me. Other than that, I'm happy with what 
I ended up making. So let me pull it out of the broiler before it burns. And um, I will try to get this video edited and uploaded ASAP. So um, I will see you guys soon. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. So here it is, folks, out of the broiler. I think I may have left it in for a few seconds too long. Um, it got a little bit more crisp than I would have liked it to, <laughs> but I think it's still edible. So this is the final product. <laughs> anyway, again, thank you for joining me, and I will see you in my next video. If you have any suggestions for what to try next, um, let me know in the comments below. All right. Take care. Hope everybody's staying happy, healthy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.